Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 68. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Okay, well, I've just started recording this event. I completely forgot to mention what I'm doing. So we're starting off with the North American tour. Um, I don't have a list of tracks for you because I just went into the event and clicked start recording so this is what we're doing we're starting with sebring all right what is up guys it is me mr mechanic i'm driving i don't even know what this video has been so far but uh we got some cool fast cars and we've got a cool somewhat fast track and we got Somewhat slow AI. Lovely combination. Not bad. Okay, I think I shifted down a little too quick for that one. The yeah, AI are a little bit close behind. Just keep breathing. This sounds like the um crap. I need to uh, research this song because this sounds like the singer that sings in one of the chemist songs. It really does. I'm so upset that the chemists don't make music anymore. They haven't made us like a song in like four years. The chemists were unbelievable. And the thing that really upsets me is one of their best songs was one of their later songs as well. Made in 2019, Crevasse. It was awesome. Such a cool song. But the issue is... They don't make music. Hundred ninety six miles an hour. Hundred 
That's crazy. Just keep dreaming. I'm hoping that I can get this and the final event of this section done within three hours. I'm doing it in this stream, but if I can get it done within three hours, actually means that I get an extra hour to edit and that means everything right because I'm behind I'm behind a little bit Not bad. See, the cool thing about uh, YouTube and the way that uh, Super Chats and channel memberships work and everything. It doesn't matter which. Uh, the issue with Twitch is the fact that all types of like monetary support on Twitch have different percentage margins that a creator earns. YouTube is all the same. Like anything that's like money to a creator, they'll take a similar cut out of everything. It's quite cool that it's the same. Because then you don't favour one thing over the other. Alright! He's time to race. Laguna Seca this time. Hey, good to hear, man. Good to hear. Vroom, vroom. Oh, come on. That typical Forza AI.
Nice. There we go. That was alright through the corkscrew. I just... I, I'm i so annoyed with the launch of Motorsport. I, I'm not playing it. I will refuse to buy it until it's like so cheap. Like before the game gets delisted, I might buy it. But then again, it, it might be the case that I won't buy it because more than likely it's going to be live service and in fact no it is live service you can't play the campaign without the servers being there it's so irritating such a stupid game the design that they put in all this, all this development that they put in to make a game that should have been better than the last one and it is a million times worse. Like, how? You know that game, uh, Game Dev Tycoon? Where you make your own games. And you've got these sliders for, like, different aspects of the game. It's like all game developers are just maxing out the graphic slider and not caring about... Um, story or gameplay. And it's not just Falls of Motorsport that suffers from it. It's every game at the moment. Every new game that's coming out is just of subpar quality. There we go. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Need some caffeine to wake me up. Need some caffeine to wake me up. Need some caffeine to wake me up. Nice. Apparently Mick Schumacher test drove the Alpine Hyper R. Wouldn't surprise me. Mick Schumacher's doing all sorts of little bits and bobs here and there. I'm still slightly confused why 
he is not in Formula 1. Like, I get he's underperforming. But at the same time, we still have Stroll. I, I don't think Stroll's going to be here next year. I think with the amount of a financial hit that Aston Martin has taken because of the fact that he hasn't been able to perform compared to Fernando. Yeah, Fernando's done a great job, but they had a great car. And at the start of this year, they had a car that was unstoppable compared to everyone else. Now that that car is not as unstoppable, it seems very much a waste of potential to have Stroll in the car there during an opportunity when if they had two Fernando Alonso's the stroll is not having bad luck and him beating up his engineer pushing his engineer out the way and then people are like oh he's just ha he's just having a bad day all right here we go that was what his dad said He's not a good driver. Like, he's proven it that he's not a good driver. If it wasn't for the fact that... Um, what is it? If this was football, right? Football's not a dangerous sport. Chuck whoever you want on the pitch. It doesn't really matter. They'll just be shit at passing, shit at dribbling, whatnot. They'll just be shit. They'll be a shit player. You stick a shit driver in a Formula 1 car, you're going to get someone killed. And that is the issue that I have with this whole thing. Vroom, vroom. Not bad. Oh, what the new uh, WRC game? It looks amazing. I'm so excited for it. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is uh, obviously the performance issues. There's a couple of like micro stutters that I've seen in a couple of gameplay videos. I'm hoping it's issues with people's computers uh, as opposed to the actual game. Because all I want to be able to do on my PC is be able to run the game at medium graphics and be able to live stream it. If I can do both of those, I'm a happy bunny. I need it to run at 60 FPS as a minimum, but that's not that difficult to do. I think a lot of creators have been playing it at higher refresh rates, like proper sim racers. But like, if I can pull off 60 FPS on 1080p, medium graphics, I got no issues. That game ain't gonna be playing 4K on my PC anytime soon.
Oh, I should have shifted up sooner. Not bad. Cannot wait to say hello to trees too. And poor trees. I wasn't expecting that. Fucking shattered. <laughs> Genuinely falling asleep here. Ah, oh, let's get some caffeine in me, shall we? Oh, there's another lap. Fuck. You see what I mean? I'm tired. Now, uh, this is the uh, showboating section of the video. Where I drift a race car. Wait. Not bad. I'll take my 180 grand. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Wait. Here we go. Let's do this. That's some good coffee. Almost crashed into the back of that car there, which is uh, never ideal. Ah! What an impact. Oh, this is the same as the, uh, I think this is the IndyCar circuit. The NASCARs don't go around a route like this because going through a chicane like that and a really tight hairpin like this just isn't possible for NASCARs.
Because this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is classed as a road course. Which means the NASCARs are going more than just left, 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 or right, right, right. Toyota. You keep on bringing me down. Keep on bringing me down. You keep on bringing me down. You keep on bringing me down. Ah! Completely messed that corner up. Let's start it from the beginning. Oh, now starting it from the beginning. Style points, that's what they're called. Panasonic. Ideas for life.
Let's see how this is fast. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Vroom! The interior of this one actually looked quite cool. Look how cool that looks to drive. This is so sick. Obviously gonna keep it on uh, third person because it's a little bit better for uh, viewing experience, but it's so cool. Right, I'm going to make lap number two my, uh, what's it called? Fastest lap. Yo, Rag, what up? Welcome. How are you today? Hopefully, having a good day. Rag, I'm going to be doing a uh, join a thon uh, on. I want to say 31st of November. No, October. 31st of October. Definitely 31st. Because uh, that uh, falls very much perfectly in line with the WRC release so I'm very much hoping to be able to play the WRC game uh, I'm not going to be playing the game as it launches because the last two times I've done that it has not gone well 
So... We're not doing that. Nuh-uh. That is not going to happen. But yeah, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. The weather's been unbelievable today. I had to leave a towel by um, the wall near my door because it started dripping last night. Like water was coming into my room. And obviously I left at like 8 or 9 this morning. So I left the towel down there just to make sure it didn't drip or go everywhere. I've got a week's holiday, so my plan is to do a join-a-thon for that time period. Um, I've been really good at responding to shit, which is absurd. Because there's a different development team. It's Codemasters. But the Dirt Rally team is like... Actually a good... Team. You know? They're actually proud of the work that they do. Which a lot of developers nowadays are just like... Oh yeah, I'm contracted to just... Type some keys on a keyboard. I'm going to put out shit. I don't give a shit. Typical game dev. Indie devs are one of the few developers that I actually think actually make good games now. And indie devs were known for being like these little games that just didn't have much to them. That's still the case, but like... You know, they're much higher quality than AAA games nowadays. You look at Strays, for example. Yeah, I know it wasn't technically... It, it was sort of crossing between like indie dev and triple a kind of game but like that was a phenomenal game that had like care and attention put into it a lot of triple a games just aren't getting that treatment and it sucks like imagine what an indie dev team could do with the budget of a triple a title like if an indie dev team was given the budget of a AAA title without the backing of like EA or whatnot or any of those publishers, instant game of the year. Guarantee. Everyone will love it. Everyone likes that. Yeah, but the issue is you've got to look at it a little further back from EA and you've got to look at it from a developer point of view. Which, for Codemasters, a title like this isn't surprising. They can do it. But they can also make shit ones. Yeah, that's why I'm saying Strays is like between AAA and Indie. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>